100 years ago, the land west of Chicago was crisscrossed by a light interurban railway that daily provided transport to tens of thousands of commuters and tons of freight, providing high-speed transport between cities and towns such as Wheaton, Elgin, Aurora, Chicago, Lombard, Villa Park, Elmhurst, and many others, sometimes traveling at speeds in excess of 60 miles an hour. The trip from Aurora or Elgin to Wheaton would take less than 25 minutes and to downtown Chicago in less than an hour, times that would be tough to match even by today's standards. And most surprisingly, this railway was entirely electric, powered by 600 volts of direct current, supplied by a third rail through most of its run, and by overhead trolley wires in some of the streets of the cities and towns. This railway was the Aurora, Elgin, and Chicago Railway later the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Railway. But it was also known as the Great Third Rail, the Inner Urban, and the Roaring Elgin. The railway served its customers faithfully for more than 50 years, and then midday on July 3, 1957, it all came to a stop. With ongoing financial troubles, the railway was dissolved. Within a few years, the rails were ripped up and recycled, the right-of-way and stations were abandoned, and many of the facilities were torn down. In 1963, however, a Morton Arboretum naturalist by the name of May Thielgard Watts proposed that the abandoned railway right-of-way be turned into a nature walkway. It was the first proposed rails-to-trails pathway in all of the United States. Within three years, Watts, a dedicated set of volunteers, and local government officials created a nature pathway almost 60 miles in length and spanning three Illinois counties for walkers, runners, cyclists, and others to enjoy in what was to become known as the Illinois Prairie Path. The Fox River Trail subsequently added 40 additional miles to this legacy, thereby creating one of the first and finest regional pathways in all of the United States. I'm Joyce. And I'm Brian. And we're at the Volunteer Bridge, named for the hundreds of volunteers who created and maintained the Illinois Prairie Path, and located just a few hundred feet from the Illinois Prairie Path Trailhead, located in downtown Wheaton, Illinois. In this video series, we will recreate the original line of the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Trackway by bicycle, by visiting all of the sites of the disused stations, flag stops, substations, and facilities along the five major branches of the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Railway. These being the Aurora Branch, the Elgin Branch, the Batavia Branch, the Geneva Branch, and the Main Line from Wheaton all the way into Maywood, Illinois. Along the way, we'll look for other remnants and reminders of this once great railway, such as this iron bridge right beside us, built in 1907. We'll use four primary sources for these journeys, the first being the 1961 book, The Great Third Rail, by the Central Electric Rail Fans Association, the second being 1939 and 1956 aerial photographs of Cook County, DuPage County, and Kane County. The third being some fantastically informative websites such as thegreatthirdrail.org or thetrolleydodger.com. And the fourth being period photographs that provide clues to some of the original facilities. We'll start with the Elgin branch, the longest and northernmost of the branches of the Chicago, Aurora, and Elgin Railway. And we'll begin 16 miles northwest of here, on the east banks of the Fox River in downtown Elgin. We'll see you there.